The DevExpress Rich Text Editor control for Silverlight allows you to introduce mail merge functionality in your Silverlight application. Using this feature is very easy. Simply add a data source for your editor and add individual data bound fields to your document. So let's see how to do it. I'll start with a Silverlight application that has a rich edit control added to it. For the purposes of this demo, and to save time, I've added a sample XML data file to the Resources folder of my project solution tree. This file contains data from the Northwind sample database. The RTF file is a document that has the mail merge fields created and formatted. We'll load this file into the rich edit control at runtime. Next, there's the employee.cs file. This file has the code to enable the rich edit control access to the resources.employees.xml data source. You don't have to try to follow this code as the C Sharp project of this demo will also be available as a link below the video. I switch back to the WPF designer. I select the rich edit control and from the properties tab, double click to create a new handler for the got focus event. As I'm using a pre-release version of the product, I'm using this event specifically to make sure the control has been completely initialized before making any references to it. This will prevent null reference exceptions from being thrown at runtime. You may, however, use the loaded event in the final release of the product. I'll add a reference to the devexpress.extraRichEdit.Services namespace. In the event handler, I add the following lines of code that bind the rich edit controls mail merge function to the employee's data source. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. I click File and Open and select the mail merge RTF file. By default, you only see the plain text included in the file. From the Mail Merge menu, I click the Show All Field Codes item to display the merge field labels in the document. Now I need to have the document retrieve the data from the employee's data source and populate these fields accordingly. I open the Mail Merge menu again and select View Merged Data. And here it is. The tags are replaced with the data of one record in the data source. From the menu, I can advance to the next few records or simply go back. Unchecking the View Merge Data item in the menu unlinks the document from the data source, leaving us with the original merge fields. All of this can be done using data retrieved from a SQL Server database, an access database, a web service, and more. For the sake of simplicity, we used an XML file as the data source. For more information, please refer to the AG Rich Edit documentation on the web. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.